Welcome back to Voltage Drop Diagnostics. Today I have a 2005 Toyota Sienna. The customer is saying that when they come to a stop, the last couple miles per hour, the ABS is turning on. I was able to get this to activate in the uh, parking lot, so I don't have to worry about police, police in this video, so you guys can come along. I'm going to show you guys a couple of the data pits that I'm going to use to diagnose this. I'm not sure if you can actually pick that up. I'm not sure if you guys can actually pick that up on camera, but uh, I'm saving this screenshot so I'll show you guys what I see. So the first thing I like to do is go to a known good wheel. So I'm going to go to the right front wheel. I'm going to grab the uh, positive wire on the right front wheel speed sensor and see what the waveform looks like. See, I'm back probed into the power wire, the positive wire. When I spin the wheel, I like to keep a consistent speed. That way, I can match it on both sides. So I'm basically, basically counting in my head how fast I'm spinning this wheel, just to keep it consistent side to side. So I measured the amplitude peak to peak, and I'm right around 683 millivolts. So now I'm going to compare that to my bad side. It'll be hard to get you guys in here. Back probe my power wire again. So I'm going to leave the cursors on to show where the peak to peak was um, from the right side. But I'm going to start it and see how the left side looks as well. So I'm going to try to spin the wheel same speed I was on the other side. Like I said, basically counting in my head trying to keep the same speed and you'll notice that the amplitude for this side is substantially less the left side we are at 155 millivolts of amplitude which is far less which is far less than the right side usually when your amplitude is that low coming from a wheel speed sensor it's because you have a big air gap um, here in the rust belt, we have a lot of rust, and a lot of times the rust gets under the wheel speed sensor and actually starts to lift it up. I'll see if I can show you on camera. I hope that comes up on video because it was tight. It was tight trying to get this camera in there. So I'm going to try to get this sensor out, but like I was saying, I live in the Rust Belt. I'm usually not lucky getting these things out. This is a 95% chance that this thing is going to break. If you guys know any tricks to getting these wheel speed sensors out without breaking them, comment below, help me out, because I, I've had no, because I haven't had good luck at all getting these things out. First, I have to. Huh, this bolt came out way easier than I expected it to. So the sensor comes out just as easy. <laughs> Today is my lucky day. And today is the customer's lucky day as well. All right. So it might be a little easier to show you guys all the rust. It was lifting that up. So now I'm going to uh, try to clean it up.
Alright, it's all cleaned up. Take the paper out. It was protecting the tone ring. Make sure the sensor is all clean and see if it's fixed. Alright, so I was able to clean out inside the hole. I just used a little file. But uh can put the sensor back in, throw the wheel back on and see if the amplitude gets any better. Another thing that sucks about the rust belt is your, is your sockets are always getting stuck on things. Alright. Got the wheel on, the sensor in, scope leads hooked up. I'm gonna spin it at that same same speed I was before. I still have the cursors. I still have the cursors from the previous amplitude on the Pico scope, so we'll see how much of an improvement it made. Spin the wheel the same speed I was last time. You can see, you can see on the Pico scope that the uh, amplitude is substantially better. So all that's left is to uh, take this one for a drive and see if it's fixed. If you look at the graph, there's no more dropouts in the wheel speed sensors. If you guys need a better explanation of how the amplitude affects the wheel speed sensors, I'm going to post a link here. Here. I'm such a rookie at this. I'm going to post a link above to uh, Mike Becker's YouTube page. He has a video on how the amplitude affects how the ABS computer interprets the wheel speed sensor. I'm going to call this one Fix, so please like and subscribe if you like this at all or if it helped at all. I guess I'll see you all when the next one needs fixed.